what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we have got to talk about scary movie six in this video here today as you see in the title we're not going to waste any time this is a celebration for horror fans fans of comedy fans of the wayans brothers black twitter black black community in general the Wayans brothers are going to be returning for Scary Movie 6. Deadline revealed this exclusively today that they are going to be reuniting for the new Scary Movie with Miramax and Paramount. It says here the Scary Movie reboot that was announced at CinemaCon has finally come together with the franchise's architects reuniting for the first time in 18 years for a new original screenplay. The earlier series a send up of slashers like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer. The new Scary Movie will shoot next year for a theatrical release. The Scary Movie film franchise was developed by Marlon Wayans, Sean Wayans, and Keenan Ivory Wayans. Keenan Ivory Wayans wrote and directed the first two films. Marlon Wayans and, Sh and Sean Wayans wrote and starred in the last or in the first two films. Miramax boss Jonathan Glickman exclaimed, We are thrilled to reunite Scary Movie with the Wayans brothers, the brilliant creators behind the beloved franchise. The timing is perfect to bring back the series to the big screen, and we're lucky to have Keenan, Marlon, and Sean's unique comedic vision bringing it to audiences around the world. Marlon, Sean, and Keenan had this to say. We couldn't be more excited to be a part of the new scary movie and work with each other again. This is a franchise we created more than 20 years ago. We remember people laughing in the aisles and hope to see that again. We look forward to working with Jonathan Glickman and his team at the new Merrimax to bring these laughs to theaters where they belong. It's a double reunion. So as far as this announcement goes, this is very exciting. This is the most exciting thing that could have happened for the film itself. A lot of excitement was there when it got announced, but still people were on the fence because of the fact that it's like, are you going to give are you going to give justice to the Waynes and bring them back? And now we know the answer to that is yes, the Waynes will be back. So this should be better than Scare Movie 4. Should be better than, oh, oh, definitely should be better than Scare Movie 5. I love all the Scare Movies, but 4 and 5 definitely are the left turns, the wrong turns, no pun intended, that the franchise took. So hopefully we can get back on track. All we know so far about this film in terms of what people have been saying about it that could potentially star melissa barrera says she she would be interested in doing it uh and on affairs who we know started cindy in the first four films said that she would be down to do it for money if the money's right and of course if regina herself is back now regina i don't think recently has said anything i could be miss or not remembering things correctly but i will say this as someone who loves regina's portrayal of brenda brenda is one of my favorite characters I would not stress that we need Regina more than the Wayans. Now that the Wayans are back, I think you could get a much more well-crafted film together, even if Regina doesn't come back. Regina carried four and five, or just four. She wasn't in five, I don't think. Yeah, she carried four. four. The chemistry between her and Anna definitely carried four, and definitely carried three, even though that was still patented around the Wayans treatment. But I think you could get away with a Wayans Brothers film that doesn't have Regina Hall, even though Regina Hall is something I know a lot of people would prefer to see back. I would like to see her back, too. But if that falls through, I still would have faith that we're going to get something of competence as opposed to what we got in 2013 with Scared Movie 5. And yeah, I, I, I just can't wait for this. The rumored plot details have not been confirmed. But like I've been stating, I had heard they're trying to do a Doofy requel type of thing where Doofy returns and we could go from there and see what that story looks like how they do that i don't know because of course we know that doofy is the killer maybe it's something where the the characters don't know it's doofy we do and we'll take the narrative from there as far as like the franchises they should poke at obviously I, i'd like to see them poke at chucky need to see that definitely throw scream in there maybe even a dash of paranormal activity not that they haven't done that before in movies like a haunted house but just just because throw it in um definitely do some commentary on this on these group of elevated horror films like hereditary midsommar and other things that have come out of of recent memory throw in jigsaw again maybe a callback to scare movie four there's just so much material michael myers definitely get michael myers in there in some capacity i would like to see that there's a lot of potential here for this movie now. I feel like this is going to be something special. I feel like uh, it's going to take jabs at everybody and everything with no ill intent. So most people will be on board with it. Like I've stressed before in the past on my other videos related to Scare Movie 6, I am not interested in seeing a watered down Scare Movie. So I am not interested in seeing them not poke fun at the black community. They themselves, of course, are black. 
I would not like to see them not take jabs at other groups or communities because they themselves, some of them anyway, I think, are part of these communities. So we, knowing who they are, could easily recognize there is no ill intent here. It's just you wanting us to laugh at ourselves and have a good time with the movie. But I know there's going to be some people that are say, oh, well, they shouldn't do that because that's offensive. This, that and the third. Bro, just don't watch the damn movie. Because if you're going to do a watered down scary movie where you're walking on eggshells, that's not scary movie anymore. The scary movie I grew up with went there. Not, not, not to say it took it too far, but it went there. And I'd like to see it keep that energy. And if I may be honest for a quick second here, when I see people get offended online about certain things related to communities, it's oftentimes people who aren't even part of said communities. They're getting offended on other people's behalf. Meanwhile, said people don't find anything offensive about it or they just don't care or they like to laugh at themselves so watered down scary movie not here for it if you want that then just don't go see the movie or wait for some other project to come out because i don't need to see the wayans brothers back after all this time doing something that feels very safe and not willing to poke fun at anything take jabs at everyone and everything leave no stone unturned and have fun and we know you guys are not doing it with malicious intent. If you know who they are as people from their interviews, they are not trying to do this with malicious intent. Go all out, go wild, go back to what we love from those first two films and the fans who know you and appreciated what you did and like to laugh at themselves like myself, we will be there and we will enjoy it. I don't wanna see anything watered down to appease People out there who would get offended by every little thing under the sun because they're too soft to exist in the real world. I'm not interested in that. It just this feels so good knowing how they were done dirty, knowing that um, Marlon himself talked about this recently on the Annie Sharp podcast. And this just feels good knowing that them not being overly ant antagonistic over what happened to them led to how he put it, God working his magic. The franchise is back in the hands of where it belongs. The people who should have never been removed are back. And we're going to get something special. I trust that. I trust that we will get something special with Scary Movie 6. And I am going to just cross my fingers that Anna Ferris signs on, Regina signs on, maybe some other familiar faces sign on that we've seen before in the franchise. And this can be something that just makes all the people who grew up with those first two films look back on those memories in a good way because now we're going down that path again we're going back down memory lane with the people who should have never been removed to begin with this feels good let me know what you guys think about this announcement down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification if you never miss a video in the description i have links to all of my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.